So now we're going to look at the concept of odd and even functions. So let's jump straight into the definition. A function f satisfies f of minus x equal to f of x for every number x in its domain, then f is called an even function. All right, so let's just take a look at what are we saying. f of minus x is equal to f of x. That means for every element of the domain, f of, for example, minus 2 will be f of 2. f of 3 will be f of minus 3. This is going to happen all over its domain. So here's two examples of odd even functions, y equal to x squared and y equal to cos x. So firstly, graphically, what we notice for an even function, it's symmetrical around the y-axis. So let's just test this function according to the definition. If I look at, if f of x is equal to x squared, what would f of minus x be? Well, that would be minus x squared. And if I square minus x, I get x squared, which is just f of x. So I'm happy that x squared is an even function. What about cos x? If f of x is cos x, then f of minus x is cos of minus x. And hopefully, from your trig identities, you know that cos of minus x is the same as cos of x. So that's f of x. So both the functions x squared and cos x are even functions because f of minus x is equal to f of x. So that's how we test it algebraically. Graphically, we see the function graphs are symmetrical around the y-axis. All right, so let's look at an odd function. Yet again, jump into the definition. A function is odd. If f of minus x is equal to minus f of x for every number x in its domain, then it's an odd function. So let's take a look at two examples of odd functions. y equal to x cubed is an odd function, and y equal to sine x is an odd function. So let's see why. If I look, if f of x is equal to x cubed, and I want to see what f of minus x is, well, that is minus x cubed which gives me minus x cubed, which is just minus f of x. So I've shown algebraically that this is an odd function. Now, what happens graphically? If you look at the graph of this function, the part on the right-hand side, if I reflect it over the y -axis, x axis and then over the y axis or the other way around, then I get the part on the other side of the y axis. So it's also symmetrical, but it's with two reflections. So let's look at sine x. If g of x is equal to sine x. If I look at g of minus x, that's just sine of minus x. And again, what we know of our trig functions, we know sine of minus x is minus sine of x. So that's minus the function g of x. So g of minus x is equal to minus g of x. So that is an odd function. So these are some common examples of even and odd functions is how we test them. So let us apply them to some other functions that we don't have the graphs for. We've got some polynomials here. If f of x is x to the power 4 minus x squared plus 3. So let us say we've got no idea where we're aiming with this. We want to check is it even, odd, or neither. We're going to start the same way. We're going to see what does f of minus x look like. Because we know it's even if f of minus x is the same as f of x. It's odd if f of minus x is minus f of x. All right. If it's neither either, either or odd, it's neither. So let's look at what f of minus x look like and if we can relate it to f of x. That will be minus x to the power 4 minus minus x squared plus 3. So minus x to the power 4 is x to the power 4. Mi minus x squared is x squared plus 3. And that gets us back to our function f of x. So we can see that this function is even. Let's look at the next one, 5x cubed. We already know what we're going to get for this one, hopefully. If I look at g of minus x, it's 5 times minus x cubed, which is minus 5x cubed, which is minus g of x. So we can see that this function is odd. And then the last one, x squared plus x, h of minus x is minus x squared plus minus x. So that gives me x squared minus x. Well, that's not equal to h of x. It's not equal to minus h of x. So this one is 
neither even nor odd. So to test for even and odd, we can test it algebraically, but we can also see visual, visually what even and odd functions look like.